From Pennies to a Powerhouse, that should pass for a mind-blowing title of a story. Well, this is going to be Cardano's story anytime soon, and we're going to be the ones here to tell it. According to the reports and predictions from various analysts, especially the popular founder of Crypto Capital Venture, 88 is going 100x. It seems like a long-term prediction, but isn't it just insane? Every insane prediction is nothing short of this, right? With Cardano 88 consolidating in a tighter range, some traders in 88 bulls think the altcoin could be in a calm before the storm. 88 March into 2021 trading at 18 cents, and then hit an all-time high of $3.09 in early September for a gain of 1,616% in nine months. After two months of healthy uneventfulness and resilience to around the $2 range, Cardano was ready to move, according to multiple analysts. One of the predictions of the widely followed analyst Benjamin Cowan, known for a longer time frame technical analysis, in this period noted that ADA had completely outperformed his initial expectations for 2021. With that, Cowan didn't see crypto as being overextended and in need of a bear market just yet. The analyst said that ADA was in the why doesn't ADA do anything phase, which he suggested was often the time just before another parabolic price movement. Using logarithmic recession bans, Cowan said an explosion to the $10 level by early 2022 was completely possible, but also not as conservative and realistic as he would like it to be. At the time, Cowan further suggested that a better way to not get set up for disappointment would be to assume a slightly longer market cycle that sees ADA bounce around more or less in its current price range until the coming year before making the big move up. A healthy way to get there would be to move up in a few months, to maybe a $3 to $4 ADA, where we go down to support for a while, then maybe a move like $6 to $7 ADA half a year after that, and then a rally to $10 ADA. That would be a healthy way to get there. A more unhealthy way to get there would be if we just rallied up at the end of the year going into early 2022. And let's say we hit $9 ADA by the end of the year or by early next year. If we had $9 by early next year, then we're looking at basically dropping down two regression bands and moving up probably too quickly for the market to sustain it in the short term. And then we'd probably get a sizable pullback. Maybe back to the current prices, honestly, he had said. Being bullish on Cardano, Cowan said that there was nothing wrong with ADA staying boring for a while because it gives one time to accumulate more and then take advantage of staking. However, 2022 swept past us and there was nothing like a $10 ADA to be found. It was like almost every bullish prediction was swept under the carpets. Different Cardano investors looked at their screens with misty eyes, waiting for a miraculous turnaround. But instead of giving out insane predictions that make our heads swell and end up not creeping into reality, why not settle for something that seems feasible? Well, we are supposed to set our hopes on high stakes after all. Cardano is undeniably one of the most innovative and exciting blockchain projects in the space, being referred to as a third generation blockchain network and often praised for its advanced cryptography and functionality over older, slower, and less efficient blockchains like Ethereum, although transition to a proof of stake system has somehow changed this narrative. As the world of Web3 and the blockchain industry continues to grow and thrive, Alternate networks like Solana, Avalanche, and Cardano are gaining a lot of popularity and attention as leading edge projects and dApps are being built out across these ecosystems. However, the coin prices are not what investors desire to see, especially in the case of Cardano 88. Even Cardano's proponents are losing hope. Nonetheless, Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Rich Dad Poor Dad, is a perfect example of an ardent Bitcoin believer. He has always expressed his support for Bitcoin, gold, and silver, and he believes that the questions about the future prices of these assets are unimportant compared to how much of them investors currently own. Kiyosaki considers Bitcoin, gold, and silver to be bargains at their current prices, and advises people to buy them now as they may not be affordable in the future. The American businessman recently cited the United States financial situation as a reason for purchasing these assets, as he believed the country is broke and a crash in stocks, bonds, and real estate is imminent. Kiyosaki has been a vocal advocate for Bitcoin since 2020 and frequently refers to it, gold, and silver as real assets and real money. The renowned author has previously stated that he plans to buy more Bitcoin, gold, and silver due to his distrust of the U.S. Federal Reserve, the Treasury, and President Joe Biden. He attended a crypto conference in Singapore where he reiterated his belief that cryptocurrency is the future of money and that fiat currency is doomed. Kiyosaki has also predicted that Bitcoin will reach $120,000 in 2024 as countries like Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, or BRICS, are expected to launch a new cryptocurrency backed by gold, which could negatively impact the US dollar. Now, that's an insane prediction for Bitcoin alone. Robert Kiyosaki also believes that several assets, including Bitcoin, will become 
priceless as the Federal Reserve works on a controversial project. He told his 2.4 million followers on X that the Fed's central bank digital currency will make certain assets invaluable. Remember that in July, the Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco posted a job ad for a senior crypto architect to perform research and development relating to a CBDC. In the same month, the San Francisco Fed also posted a job ad for a CBDC product manager. Earlier this year, Republican Congressman Warren Davidson called for an outright ban on CBDCs, as he predicted the government would use the technology to exert more control over the general population. Kiyosaki thinks buying gold, silver, and Bitcoin are the way to survive the looming incidents. After all, anything can happen. The popular author is not the only one who thinks that Bitcoin offers a substance of safety. Senator Cynthia Loomis sees it as a favorable option for retirement. I'm very comfortable with making sure that people can include Bitcoin in their retirement funds, because it's just different from other cryptocurrencies, Lumens once said. Plus, at the CNBC Financial Advisor Summit in June of 2021, Cynthia Loomis urged Americans to incorporate Bitcoin into their retirement plans as part of a balanced strategy. Again, in a six-month-old interview with CNBC, Loomis urged Americans to put their retirement savings into Bitcoin. Since the time the market suffered some serious setbacks through the FTX fiasco, followed by bankruptcies and panic, Bitcoin's price fell to new lows. But Loomis remained a fervent Bitcoin believer, and there are still insane predictions about the cryptocurrency. Loomis is a well-known crypto advocate on Capitol Hill, and according to her financial disclosures, she holds between $100,000 and $350,000 in tokens. I believe that because there are only going to be 21 million Bitcoins that are mine, that Bitcoin will go up. That's a personal belief, just based on its scarcity, she once noted. Now, who will speak for Cardano ADA? According to Dan Garmadello, Cardano 88 can hit 100x. Perhaps one of his latest milestones might illuminate this prediction. Recently, Cardano has been slowly creeping into the mainstream and onto the radar of major players. This rising popularity of the cryptocurrencies has led it to grayscale as the asset manager unveiled a new way for institutional investors to gain exposure to Cardano. On October 24th, Grayscale Investments announced that it was bringing five new crypto indices to the crypto market. These five indices will permit institutional investors to gain some level of exposure to many assets in the industry without having to go through the hassle of buying the coins. Of the five indices that were announced, Cardano made the cut as one of the smart contract platforms. This contributed to the existing exposure already available to institutional investors through Grayscale Investments by way of the Grayscale smart contract platform X Ethereum Fund. With this, Garmadello took to his X platform to share the news. He explained that this could be a major game changer for crypto, especially with institutional investors being given a way to play. We're talking about big money, big players, and big validation for ADA, he said. Also, according to Dan Garmadello, the introduction of five new indices could suggest rising interest from large investors in cryptocurrencies other than Bitcoin. Getting exposure to assets with lower market caps than the leading cryptocurrency could mean even larger profits for institutional players, and Cardano could provide them with that opportunity. It's clear that the institutional wave is coming for more than just Bitcoin. Cardano, as a blue-chip crypto, is poised to ride that wave, Garmadello included. Institutional investor adoption of a cryptocurrency can indeed mean a massive rally for the asset. But what do you think about this development? Is it a big deal? And is it the way for a 100x pace? Well, that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure to click on subscribe notification buttons, and we'll see you in the next video.